7th graders, uh, we're at the end of chapter 7, so we will be reviewing, and then you'll have a quiz for an assignment. Okay, sorry, my water bottle was in the way. I could not get it open in time to get a drink before the countdown. So, vocabulary words. Continental drift is the hypothesis that the continents slowly move across our surface. Pangea is the name of the single landmass that began to break apart 200 million years ago and gave rise to today's continents. Remember, we um, believe that it's very likely that Pangea was um, a single landmass, but it broke apart during the flood, or it separated during the flood. Um, a fossil is any trace of an ancient organism that has been preserved in rock, mid-ocean ridges, an undersea mountain chain where new ocean floor is produced, a divergent plate boundary under the sea. Uh, Seafloor spreading is the process by which molten material adds new oceanic crust to the f ocean floor. Deep ocean trenches are a deep valley along the ocean floor beneath which oceanic crust slowly sinks toward the mantle. Subduction, the process by which oceanic crust sinks beneath a deep ocean trench, trench and back into the mantle at a convergent plate boundary. Plates are a section of the lithosphere that slowly moves over the asthenosphere, carrying pieces of continental and oceanic crust. Um, a divergent plate boundary is a plate boundary where two plates move away from each other. So remember, for here, move away like this. Um, convergent is where two plates move toward each other. And transform is when they move past each other in opposite directions. Plate tectonics is the theory that pieces of Earth's lithosphere are in constant motion, driven by convection currents in the mantle. Faults, a break in Earth's crust along which rocks move. A rift valley is a deep valley that forms where two plates move apart. From lesson one, remember the key point. Um, Wagner's hypothesis was that all of the continents were once joined together in a single landmass and have since drifted apart. So a supercontinent or a single landmass, again, Pangea. And the evidence, for example, Africa and South America, mountain ranges on the continents line up, and Europe and North America, the coal fields match up. I'm not 100% sure if I'm putting those on your assignment or <laughs> on your quiz yet, uh, but while you're more than likely one of those would be on there, one of the two there. From lesson two, mid-ocean ridges form long chains of mountains that rise up from the ocean floor. Seafloor spreading adds more across to the ocean floor, and at the same time, older strips of rock move outward from either side of the ridge. In a process taking tens of millions of years, not quite that many, part of the ocean floor sinks back into the mantle at deep ocean trenches. And from lesson three, the theory of plate tectonics states that Earth's plates are in slow, constant motion, driven by convection currents in the mantle. Plate tectonics explains the formation, movement, and subduction of Earth's plates. So please complete the chapter seven quiz on Edmodo. Uh, there will definitely be lots of vocab because this is a heavy, heavy vocab chapter. Um, convergent, transform, and divergent plate boundaries will be multiple choice, selecting which one is which um, direction. So moving on. Together is convergent, apart, divergent, and past each other, transform. If you know if you have any questions, have a great day.